This week, the competition is in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> we have a lot going on at the competition this week. Our group routine is called On the Verge. What if you did brush, whack, through that leg behind you? We have a ton of great studios from the Orlando area. These moms are in for a rude awakening. My kids are gonna get their butts kicked. And for once, I'm glad. I had some of the moms come over just to discuss like my situation that I have at the studio and with Abby. So what have your kids been doing? Brooke's been doing her songs. Um, the one song is almost on being recorded. Oh, oh that's yeah. exciting. You have. Oh my a God! You've gone two it. weeks, and look what she's done. Yeah. That's terrific. That's amazing. Actually, thank you. Thank you. That's but, very so impressive. So you will come back. I'm not fighting with Abby, and I'm not asking her to come back. Paige and Brooke are already on the pyramid. Their shots are there. Their photos are up. Abby, whether she wants to admit it or not, she wants those girls on the team. So what do I do if Liz. I come to the competition and she like makes a big stink about it? Oh, she will. What if we gave her one free punch at Melissa? That one lure you back? It would be at Abby. The things that Abby and Melissa do are hurting all of our kids. I just want things to be better for all of the girls. I I'm not gonna like invite her over my home when a week ago or two weeks ago, you stabbed my kid in the back and looked right at me and was like, I don't know what you want me to do. I want you to open your mouth. As an educator, it's hard for me to watch a parent do that in front of a whole room full of kids. Look, what Abby did was but wrong. But it was okay for her no, to do that. No, 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 no. It wasn't room. okay for her to do that but either. Like, Kelly's being really immature right now. She made a spectacle. She's being incredibly stubborn. But right now, she needs to suck it up and come back to the team. OK, you said that you know, you would have probably thrown me out because, you know, you were a principal and all that. And you say I'm wrong for sticking up for them for that. And I feel like I you that's you being against me. I just feel like Holly sometimes needs to get out of her mindset that she's a teacher because you're a mom before you're a teacher. My kid isn't the only kid that gets picked on. I'm trying to just be a group and, and stick up for everybody and I just don't feel like anybody ever backs me. Everybody always thinks I'm crazy. We do back you. I back but you. you. No, you don't. Well, you just care. not verbal. A, a I just can't step in and say, yeah, Abby, yeah. It doesn't seem like Kelly cares about dance or being a part of this team or anything. If Kelly doesn't come back, that just means more solos for Kendall. I think both of you have seen how well it works for Melissa to do whatever Abby wants to keep their kids in her good graces, and I think that you both are headed down that path. Are you insane? No. Absolutely not. When we all agreed not to send our kids to Abby's West Coast competition, I said to all of you on the phone, I was asked, here and now, I said no, so I need all of you to guarantee if you're asked, you're gonna say no. Abby did ask Kendall to go. She didn't ask her to perform. So I said, no, I'm not gonna go. But if she would have been asked to perform. I can't say that. Probably not. It's time for me to kick this bitch out. You need to see yourself what? to the door. What? Did you just say that? In the past, the moms have always stuck together, but I don't think I can say that any longer. Why do you wanna be divided all the time? I'm not divided all the time. I didn't lay down the gauntlet. What's the gauntlet thing? Stop talking. I'm Why? You. Don't tell me to stop talking. Don't leave. I'm done. Oh my god, who's here? I'm supposed to sit here. You are no longer a member of the Avenue Dance Company. I'm not moving. Go around. I could stand here all day. Kelly shows up at the competition. She comes down face to face with Abby. There's this terrible standoff, which really was quite immature. I can't think of any other word for it. They they both are grown women and they're acting like two-year-olds. You really want me to climb over a seat in a dress? It's embarrassing to me, it's embarrassing to our kids, and it's holding up the whole competition. Something's got to give here. Well, there's a thousand seats in here. Put your button one. Wholly uncomfortable for everyone else in the room, ladies. Abby and Kelly's standoff went on forever. You got to hand it to Kelly. You know, she's got nerve walking down that aisle and standing there at Abby saying, you know what, this is my spot, you move. And she didn't back down. Why is Kelly here? This just goes to show how her brain works. Why wouldn't she spend the time, the energy, the money at my dance studio in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, getting her kids some lessons 
instead of traveling down to Orlando to attend a competition when they're not in it. Oh yeah, they had a gay old time. Did they learn anything new about dancing? Did they improve upon their own talents? No. But then again, that's what Kelly's all about. Fun, fun, fun. Let's not improve. Let's just blame it on somebody else. Here they are with On The Verge. What did we think of the number, ladies? I liked it. Uh, I thought it was really good. It I was. Loved it. Thank you. This is Peyton's second week now with the team. Not on the team, with the team. Just saying. It's very difficult. Coming into you ladies, you ladies have this pack, and it's known you've run quite a few people off, including myself a few times. When you're here, I'm not here because that's the reason you're here is you're replacing Brooke. Why why be here then? If you you know this is happening with Abby. Because I'm part of this team. And my kids are part of this team. And we're gonna be part of this team, whether Abby likes it or not. The truth is, we're really not a team without Kelly and her girls. And frankly, I'm afraid to go to nationals without them. I want them back. You wouldn't like me on this team anyway, though, because I would do everything for my kid. I won't hurt your kids, but if my child gets an opportunity, I'm taking it. We're not just raising dancers, we're raising people. No matter how much I want Nia to succeed in life, if she's not a good person, then I have failed. And that might be the reason why Leslie doesn't quite fit in here. Even Melissa and Jill, the biggest dance moms around, want more for their daughters than stardom or fame. I'd rather be who I am and be not a success on Broadway because I can look myself in the mirror yeah. rather than dance on a stage. When opportunity comes knocking, you better take advantage of it. Hey, what kind of kid are you raising? I want my daughter to have this. Shame on you. OK, well, I'm going to be open right now. I'm tired of this chit chat. And if my daughter doesn't get a solo, then I'll leave and take the next opportunity and work in LA. About? I'm tired of this chat. About? I'm just tired of this chat. All the fighting, the complaining, the unhappiness. I just had enough. Peace. Fourth place, entry number 79 on The Verge. They need to realize it's not so easy. They need to work, and they need to work harder.